Hi guys, my name is Dali and you are watching my channel, The Training Temple. So, in this video, we will be moving on to part 4 of our series, The Elements of Literature. Our topic for today's lecture is going to be imagery and idiom. So, let's start the lecture with explaining imagery. What is imagery? Imagery is a literary device that is used by authors to describe a scene into words. This device is used so that the person reading the text can have a clear image of the scene inside of his mind so that he can understand what was the scene, what is the author seeing. With imagery, the person reading a book or listening to the speaker can have a clear picture of the, what the scene was. I'll give you an example. It was a bright sunny evening. The birds were chirping. As the sky seemed bluer, the trees seemed greener. You get a picture, right? Now, let's take another example. It was a moonless night. It was pitch black. I couldn't see 10 feet ahead of me. It was such a scary atmosphere. Now, you saw an image again? Now, let's move on to the next part. Okay, now let's move on to idiom. What are idioms? Okay, an idiom is um, an application of figurative speech in which a person is saying something for dramatic effect but it's not necessarily true. You see, when we're using idiom, we don't focus on the literary, literal meaning. We have to focus on the context. Like, what does it mean? So, when we use an idiom, it's not literally true, but the feeling is true. Let me explain. So, you see, when a person is going to perform, you say break a leg. You don't want him to actually break a leg. You're telling him to do his best. Now, another example. It's raining cats and dogs. It can't possibly rain cats and dogs. So, it's for dramatic effect that it was raining very much. Now, how about another example? Can you think of something? Yeah, I guess you can't. Okay, I'll end our lecture here because that's all I can teach you about imagery and idiom. See you all in my next video. Bye guys.